So our charge controllers, um, we have 32 um, 550 watt panels and our charge controllers will, all, will only handle um, about 5200 watts of PV input. So we have to basically break up our panels into groups. So the way I did this is I took 5200 watts and I divided it by 550 um, watts per panel. We will have 32 right now. There's only three up here because I'm having some issues with some hardware not fitting right on this um, Unistrut. Anyway, so we will have 32 panels. So this part of the roof will actually have um, uh, 22, I think, in here. That's what we figured. So um, anyway, I wire... How we're going to do this is we're going to wire four panels in series and bring them into this combiner box. And then I'll wire another four panels in series and bring the wiring all the way into this combiner box. And that will give us eight panels total. Four, two sets of four wired in series. And then this combiner box will um, parallel them together to give us the right voltage, the right amperage, and the right amount of input that we can have, that our, our charge controllers can handle. Our charge controllers are 100 amp chargers and uh, I mean they're, they're they're pretty good ones but with this much wattage up here you got to really break it down um, then we'll have another eight panels over here I think or 12 or 10 I don't remember I remember where all, all that math is but anyway um, charge controllers and combiner boxes these combiner boxes are pretty good ones they um they have these surge controls so each one of those has a fuse in it. Then it has that main breaker to shut off the main going down to the charge controllers. But on this I could hook up six rows, but we're only going to be using two. Um, I could have got away with the smaller ones. These smaller ones is what I ended up adding. Um, but yeah, so I could, if I want to put a water wheel, or not a water wheel, a uh, wind turbine up here, I could plug it into one of these. Because I built this with the f two sets of four series together. I have a little bit of play. I could add something up here if I wanted. Um, that enabled, labeled them all one, everything, so that panel, uh, those panels, that combiner box, all tie into, you know, uh, subunit number one, charge controller number one, and then all the charge controllers are wired together on a big bus bar with a, with a breaker and then down into the battery bank. Anyway, so when you're building, when you're designing, trying to figure out your panels, you really need to... Slow down and do a little math before you start buying all this equipment. Because, like I said, I didn't have to get over, I didn't have to buy these big ones. I could have got away with the small ones. Would have saved me, you know, between the two of them, would have saved me like 40 bucks. But the biggest thing I can tell you guys is when you're designing your stuff, get your Unistrut, get it up, and make sure the hardware actually all fits with the, with the panels and everything. Um, I bought some hardware from on Amazon. And the picture on there said that the the nut that goes down in the Unistrut said that it was an inch and 1.14 or 1.18 inches, which is what I needed. Well, I actually got it, and it was under an inch, so it didn't fit in this didn't fit in this Unistrut after I had people here to help me start lifting stuff up. So we basically got those strapped in with uh, um, end end plates, which we were able to figure out how to get in there and and jury rig it so anyway guys check your hardware before you uh actually get up on the roof to or actually get up there and check but before you get people here to start helping you lift this stuff luckily you know i've got heavy equipment at my available my neighbor has a my cousin my neighbor has a backhoe with a forklift so we can lift all everything up here easy enough just having enough people to move stuff around up here and uh Anyway, um, what else can I say? Yeah, that's, that's, big, that's probably my biggest thing I screwed up on was not checking my Unistrut, the hardware, with the Unistrut. Um, th I got the, the flatter Unistrut from Home Depot. If you buy their stuff, all from there it'll fit. But if, if you try to buy something on Amazon for these, these um, 
their uh, T T splice. This is where I'm gonna. This is my ground where I'm gonna tie the unistruts all to ground them all out with that. Yeah, they're gonna use the bug net, big bug net. Um, so these T these T uh, clamp things here. The ones you get on Amazon, they don't fit in this. In this, even though it says they're the right size, they are not. Um, so before you uh, get up here thinking you have everything ready to go, get up there and check and make sure everything fits. Anyway, oh, can't wait for summer. <laughs> Just stinking rain, getting old. This is our new roof. <coughs> Excuse me. Just finished building this roof, putting the roof on, tore it all off, put a new roof on. So, anyway, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching.